Right, um... Uh, ba -ba. Do you take care of... Ooh, what lies beneath, who lies beneath the fifth mound? Who lies beneath the fifth mound? The last stands empty, awaiting a new champion. Not me. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh, ba -bam. Um, my brain just went to the Siege Perilous, which has got nothing to do with this whatsoever. Siege Perilous um, was uh, one of the 150 seats around the round table. A lot of knights around the round table. Uh, each of them had a gold name um, on them, so uh, a gold placard. Um, and they mad the names were magically put onto it, except for the, the Siege Perilous. The Siege Perilous, um, the name never appeared on it. And if anyone other than the one person it was it was meant for sat on it, they would die. Hence, perilous. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure what the point was. I'm going to ask about the other one. Who lies beneath night? Ba -ba -ba, do you take care of them? Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed, that is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes you can speak with the lady's champions. From them I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. Ooh. Right, uh, who is the Lady of the Lake? We've met her, but may as well ask about it. Who is the Lady of the Lake? I know her to be a goddess. At times I see her dressed in white, traversing the fields through morning fog, her bare feet stepping lightly over the dewy grass. Do you like her? I love her. I believe the Lady is not of this world. Mysteriously, she affects the entire area, safeguarding its people and granting them abundance. Yet her influence is subtle, and she never imposes her power. Intriguing. How can I help? I'm intrigued. I, how, how can she... Like, the fields seem awfully dry for a Lady of the Lake. Right. Uh, can I do anything for you as a witcher? Anything a witcher can do for you? I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the Kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortelles. I don't think I want any of those. But... I can do that. <laughs> Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent, and no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the king of the hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. Damned moonbeams. I was expecting a bit more sarcasm, really. I do not want my help. Do not ask. I'll take the mandrake root. Okay, I think we'll leave the other... Uh, if I've got enough now, we'll leave it. Uh, we could go and do that now, I suppose. Unless I have to do it at night. Now oh, then, yay. Heat of the day, I have the things. I must need to save... Uh, uh. Right. Uh, talk to Berengar. Basilisk hides, ten devour teeth, five alp fangs. Use mandrake root to drive the wraiths and the king of the hunt away from the druids. Grow druid circle. But he said we'd have to kill nine of them. So do I, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Druid circles back over that way. It's not too far away. Um, we are going to want to go to the crypt, aren't we, to get this 
to get this armor. Aren't we? Hmm. Well, let's go and do this now, because I know the druid circle's around here somewhere. Over there. Save, and then I won't end up going through that entire conversation again. The Druid's Lantern. So let me put the Mandrake Root on. That didn't do anything, did it? Oh, I need to put both of them in. Do I? Oh, that did not do anything. Oh, and lighting it. But it is lit. I lit more than just the candle. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was already lit, so... Huh, I'm horribly confused. Maybe I meant to do it at night. And where's Alvin? I've misplaced my Alvin. Where's my Alvin? Alvin? Oh, then. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should... Hello, place to bow. Oh, then. Oh, then. Oh, then. Oh, he's stuck on a fence. Ah, oh, Ben. Right, so I, I wasted that mandrake root, I would guess. Right, do we go... I don't want to wait until night and do it. I've got to, I should probably go into the crypt, shouldn't I? Let's go into the crypt. I know you're not going to follow me into there, Alvin. You better not. That's going to be horribly dangerous for you. We are close to levelling. Which is a good thing. And the crypt's in here. So I think we... Drink... A cat potion, which I should have. In we go. This might give me some of the armor I need, actually, which is what I'm after. A scimitar. I thought you were going to be here, obviously not. You're kind of more... Well, yeah, you look a bit like a Gravier. It's Scimitar Jaw. Hello. You can't attack me. No, 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 I did a bad. I did quite a bad there. Keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, okay. Well, it's good to know that we can get our out the uh, out fangs for our contract from here. Easily. Hello. Oh, I'm starting to stab you while you're down. 
I don't like being too far for being too far down there just in case. You end up triggering uh, pulling someone else in to the fight. Like if I'd not moved back from these guys, then you then this lady would have uh, had a very easy chat shot at us. Ah Thank you. So, I probably want to go to the right, I guess. Or not. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Nope. Oh, I lied. Oh, pants. There's more things coming. Algols. I know I wanted you before, but I don't want you now. Leave me alone. I like the fact that your dark vision goes when you do when you use a fire you have the fire spell. I eat me. I quite like that. Oh pants. Because Yeah yeah. Algol marrow. I don't need it anymore. Leave me alone. I saw a red thing moving around down there. There you go, you're not like you're dead. I already killed now, Gul right there. I'm wasting everyone's time. Oh, my Igni thing's run out. No. Let's still use Igni. Alright. Doesn't look like there's actually anything around there. I think we probably want to loop around. Oh, hello. This guy. Oh, you are now. You are now Gravis. Flare of fangs. Gravier bone. That's the thing, isn't? Oh, hello. I thought you no one had come out yet. Yeah, so the kind of spells have a degree of light, and then when they go away, you're still... ...leveled. Quick save at that point. Oh, the guy's not on fire. The guy on fire may well die because he's on fire. Well, okay, maybe not, but... I should probably permanently leave my weapon out. That would probably make a bit more sense. So that's not blocked off. Urias. I'm guessing you're a name scary thing. Let's try it. What could possibly go wrong other than everything? Ah. 
I'm glad nothing else is popping out in this room. That would have terrified me. Oh, stop it. Stop clicking too early. I'm wondering to do this. You too, Geralt. <laughs> Although you're the one actually, you know, hitting him repeatedly with a stick. Well, sword. Well, it's kind of a metal pointy stick, in a way. But you're not really using the point, because you're using the blade. Uh, so it's sharp. No, yeah, sharp stick. It's slightly flat. Cementor head. Wait, do I not have my... Did I drop my other head? Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm going to have to come back in here and get my get this head again, aren't I? Huh. If only there were a town portal spell. Like in... Uh, like in Diablo. Hmm. What does it look like? That's not a head, that's a face. I mean, I can't even, like, put it in my... here, can I? Hmm. 